Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Today's Friday. Uh, we did go to some garage sales this morning. We were only planning on being out maybe like two hours, and uh, we kind of doubled that. No, not double it, but yeah. three. Um, I was thinking we'd be done around nine, and it was like almost eleven. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. So we were out. We were out close to four hours, and we we didn't even go that far. We were just we we're chilling, really. We we're just yeah. Kinda... We, we stayed like in our community, and we hit what maybe ten sales. Yeah, but every sale every sale was good. Like there was interesting stuff to look at. It wasn't one where you could just kind of scan if you didn't see anything leave. Right. They had like, cool stuff. Yeah. We we got some good things today. We're gonna um show y'all. In just a little bit. We got something really good that y'all are... Now, here's something you're really going to like. You remember that? Wait, you need to get your gloves on well, when you say that. Oh, well, here's... No, no, no. But that's that's Rocky Bullwinkle. Oh, that's right. Now, here's something we that's, hope you'll really like. That's your Mickey Mouse voice, too. It's everything. I'd use, <laughs> I'd use that same voice. Hiya, pal. Now, here's yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we picked up some cool things and one really good thing so we'll show you after orders get packed and pulled yeah. and all that good stuff we've got a mess going in here we got our boxes, boxes came, came in, in. We've got a hundred number sevens and some other stuff we got some garment boxes i was trying to pack these are your record boxes huh yeah i got those uh 12 and a half 12 and a half 12 and a half, 12 and a half whatever's yeah uh vinyl mailer or whatever kind of boxes from ebay those came in so yep We've got all kind of crap in the aisles. We're getting got some record sleeves too, huh? Yeah, I bought these. Um, these right here. I bought a pack of those. Just watch out. This I cut it open on both ends. Just some out. This. Yeah, it's, it's like a magazine um, comic book sleeve, but it's for records. Right. Yeah. yeah. If, if we could show them one, Get, grab the fr the first record out the front. I haven't listed it yet. Tears for Fears record. Yeah, see? see, it's just a little protect. To protect the us. I, I think it makes they're 23 cents a piece and i think it makes a really nice presentation yeah that's it makes nice. it like even an album even a jacket that's not in great condition will look a lot better with that on it mm -hmm. so yeah that's what we're doing uh we do have i think we have a dozen orders to pull so let's go ahead and get those pulled and then we'll go look at that garage sale stuff can't wait to show y'all all right we got to get moving it's uh carrier could show up any moment and I've got zero packed. First thing we're pulling, this is Candace's find from a uh, garage sale. And she actually spotted it the night before at the garage sale ad. She saw this soccer ball. And for some crazy reason, she looked up a soccer ball. Have you ever looked up a soccer ball in your life? No, but it has the big Nike swoosh on it. You like... And you were right. Yeah. No, your instincts were right. And it sold almost immediately. Twenty four ninety nine plus shipping. You paid what fifty? It sold like an hour after I listed it. Fifty cents, seventy five cents. What'd you pay? Uh, I think it was a dollar. No, it was it was in the was, cents. Was it okay? I remember. Oh, no, 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 it was seventy five cents. Yeah, seventy five cents. Yeah, yeah. twenty five bucks for that sucker. Next up is a little Ray Ban case. Somewhere on this shelf. Let's see thing is it's black it might be hard to see Let's see it's on top of us now I wonder if it's space behind here hey <laughs> I found it I can't believe it oh my god I thought there was enough space back there that's crazy uh Oh, check that out. This has this carbon. It's a nice looking Ray-Ban case. Carbon fiber look. Uh, $7.99 plus shipping for that. Three Charlie. We sold a... Oh, we sold a goatee. I think it's right here, actually. Yeah, this is an actual human hair goatee that sold for $11.99 plus shipping on top. Smalls drawer. We sold this... Oh, I didn't tell y'all. Or maybe I did. Am I in the right place? Oh, yeah, I am. It's up front here. Duh. This um, little Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Yeah, the outer case, it looks kind of bad. But it's really in fantastic condition as far as the screen goes. And it works, too. It works fine. I don't have a game in it right now. But, yeah, no, no issues with that. 
Got that for like $1.75 last weekend. Listed it yesterday and sold it for how much? $59.99 plus shipping on top. Uh, these in good shape, like cosmetically in good shape, you're up around $75.80 really. CC10. And yes, I am going to move all these boxes after I get finished packing. Uh, CC10, we sold, oh, rocking around the Christmas tree, Christmas ornament. Looks like a uh, Christmas tree shaped electric guitar. I th it might be musical too. It also plays the song. Oh, it plays rocking around the Christmas tree. Okay. Like, yeah, the, like the electronic guitar version. All right, cool. Uh, $9.99 plus shipping for that. Right, we are in the hat B box. I just listed this Orvis. This is actually Death Pile or something. Or I think we listed this and then somehow it didn't get it got delisted or something and then it went to the went to the death pile for a long time. Six months or so. <laughs> and then finally I listed it the other day and it sold almost immediately. $19.99 plus shipping on top for this hat. It was in new condition. Oh, CC13, we actually sold another of those ornaments. Oh, wait, 13 is up. That ain't right, is it? Or th this is all, I thought this is car parts. Did we put an ornament in here? Huh? There would not be an ornament in there. Well, it said, I think it says CC13. Am I reading that wrong? I don't know if I could reach that on a step stool. I know, why would you do that? No, it says CC13. Let I me look around. You, but I'm telling you, it's not up there. I know it's not. Cinderella. Oh, Cinderella's right. Oh, okay. She's on 12. That's close enough. Close enough to find it. Sold this one. Another order. Uh, $9.99 plus shipping on top for this. 8 Delta. We had a couple of sales come in. Uh, oh, here we go. There's A and a B. I don't know which one it is. We had a couple of sales come in while we were out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the smalls from that. Just to get them out a little quicker. Okay, I need A. This is these are these neckerchief things. Um, this sold for $9.99 plus ship also. On two Bravo, we bought uh not bought, we sold a Batman Automobilia thing. I'm kind of surprised because I actually thought those all had to be gone at this point. Nope. We still have some. I think I found it. Stuff gets kind of buried in here. Here we go. Here it is. Right here. This Bat Batman Automobilia thing sold for $14.99 plus ship. And then we have one more th small thing to pull. We have a couple of larger orders too. I'm going to get to in just a bit. But we got to get these USPS things out first. Uh, this Digimon sold for $21.99 plus shipping on top. So the, this is all the USPS going out today. We'll, we have two other things, I think, two or three. I got all that stuff packed and ready to roll, but I'm a big dummy. I thought I was done. No, I have more, more stuff to pull. Uh, I skipped over a whole class of item uh, to do them all at once. So let's go ahead and pull those now. I'm gonna put this out uh, for the carrier first. Went ahead and got the vinyl box out and all the ones up to right here, these are all unlisted. These have been listed. So I've still got a good ways to go. I've listed, uh, so far, Candace, Candace has been keeping track. So far I've listed $587. And vinyl and I think my pricing is pretty pretty much right on so I should get most of that might take a bit all right um, first album is stop making sense by talking heads this one sold for $17.99 plus shipping on top it did could have got a little more for it it has an E right here written in blue ballpoint and then there's a couple of straight ink marks there Otherwise, pretty good. The vinyl, all the, mo just about all the vinyl is like, I wouldn't say perfect, but it's real close. All right, let's find the next one. Ah, no, that's not it. We got a few that look pretty similar. 
That's the cars. Here we go. The Cure. This one sold. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. This is a double LP. Sold for $59.99 plus ship. This is a really good album, too. Um, my favorite band used to be... I have a poster back there behind that thing. R.E.M. Um, lately, I've been leaning more towards The Cure. Uh, especially since I've been watching a lot of their live stuff. Even the stuff they're doing now. Robert Smith is old as hell. And he still sounds freaking perfect live. Perfect. I want to go see, actually see him one day. But all the live performances I've watched on YouTube, I've just been astounded with how good it is. And one more. We're looking for the Smiths. And I think it was right there around the, uh, the Cure album. The Smiths, not that one. It's the Smiths. William, it was really nothing, I think. And that is... No, I didn't put these in any order whatsoever. They're just however I, however I listed them and put them in here. Ah, here it is. This is it. Right here. The Smiths. William owes really nothing. And then the B side is How Soon Is Now. And this sold for... This is an import from the UK, I believe. I think. Maybe it's not. Yeah, yeah, it is. 1984 Rough Trade Records, Collier Street, London. Uh, this guy sold for $44.99 plus shipping on top. And uh, I'll show, I'm going to show packing again probably next week. But this is where I use these uh, vinyl mailers here. Okay, guess what sold, y'all? The clock. It sold. And it was a moment of uh, joy followed by a moment of sheer terror when I realized I had to pack it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, um, upon closer inspection and some of y'all said this too uh, at least one of y'all said this this little bar here you can loosen this screw and actually it's loose enough to where I can actually just push it down you can push this down and it'll lock all the hammers in place at least and you tighten that now the only other thing that was like really delicate in the works I think this is called the balance right here and I mean, it's suspended. There's nothing really to do. Anything I would do to try and protect that would probably damage that because look how thin those little metal things are. So I think I'm just gonna lock this down and then close it up and then cushion the heck out of it, of course. And uh, yeah, nothing to do under here either. So yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I do have the paperwork and the key in this envelope. Gotta go ahead and get this done so I'm not showing the full pack, but this is gonna be the inner box. Here's the thing. Uh, I do have bubbles on the bottom. I don't have quite room, have room on the top for bubbles. More bubbles, so I'm gonna do some paper up here. Everything in there is gonna get suspended in here, double boxed. So. Hopefully that will work out well. Okay, I packed the clock to what I think is the best of my ability, double boxed, and I think it's good to go. Uh, that was 24 something to ship via UPS. So that's going out. And then Candace, what do you got going on over here? That looks cool. That is a Pokemon lot. Um, that was in that Digimon buy. There was this Pokemon stuff. So I just lotted it all together. It is like vintage figures. A lot of these are like, um, Tommy, Tommy, I don't know how to say it. Tommy, I think. Yeah. Then they have like these little eraser looking things. And I have all these card backs. So I just made one lot out of them. And I'm going to auction it off. That's a pretty cool lot. Yep. Those look like little uh, marshmallow guys. What are those things? Peeps. Oh, yeah. Do they make peeps out of those? <laughs> they should. Yeah. I like him. Is that a pickle? Oh, look at that tongue. <laughs> Is that a pickle in the back? What is that? A pickle. No, is that Leafeon? No, it, it's, that? it looks like Leafeon. I had to look. It's like Shakira or something like that. Shakira? <laughs> <laughs> something on there. Leaf don't lie. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is that the is that going to wrap up your Digimon fix? Uh, yeah, I do have some inserts. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have like some Power Ranger inserts and card backs. 
some little like little paperback books and I don't know what I'm gonna do I, I don't know <laughs> well you're pretty much finished right yeah so I have three Digimon auctions going right now they're going very 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 well I'm very pleased with the progress they're making and this will be the fourth auction out of that so it'll be about another week before we have a final number on the listing total of that buy yeah and then i also have i have one more piece to list myself from that buy but i'm i ordered some polish um oh it's this it's this old uh yeah this was part of that buy also and i think it's it's worth about a 100 bucks i'm gonna work on it yeah, hopefully this weekend yes yeah. yeah, trs 80 model 100 so you ordered some polish for this yeah and i have some uh polishing things that go on the drill and i watched some stuff on youtube so now i'm an expert about how to polish plastics so i'm gonna try and get this just perfect so we're waiting for like the polishing cream to come in yeah it does work we did test it already i guess you couldn't find a replacement battery cover huh i haven't looked yeah because we are wait oh it's that one okay oh God. i don't see anything what do you see no but uh actually we did candace you did find a battery cover on one of the 3d there printing. is one that can be 3d printed it would be nice if we had an original one but we can always 3d print one if we have to it's i'm, I'm just shocked there was a friggin 3d design for that battery cover already it's, yeah these these smart 3d printer people are recognizing all the little parts that people are looking for for stuff yeah so but i think this i think this will be around 100 bucks or so yeah um maybe maybe a little more i don't know cool but uh this so what how much we spent 450 yeah so th that's this buy right here 450 plus the four auctions in that thing right plus we have the four auctions and then that thing i mean this this could be getting up close to three grand by the time it's all oh, said it and done be. it will be oh it will be i didn't mean to insult you <laughs> yeah wait well well it well it will be oh okay so that is going i have, I have to say that's going to be over three grand apparently and the records are going pretty well how many do you have left to list i don't know half so that's about half done right there yeah but so i do maybe. have i have some clunkers in the back though so i i think i mean we might struggle to get to a thousand here it might be more like 900 or so hey that's more than double so oh no it's great we paid 300 just for the records yep so all right so you ready to show them what we found this morning yeah let's show them okay the last few times the last few times i've been out garage sailing i've made some bad buys i'll admit that I've been a little reckless, I've been a little carefree with the twos and the threes and the $5 buys, just not not caring too much. So today I tried to care. What, what are you laughing about? I just hear like the sound behind me and, and I turn around and that thing is sitting down there. We gotta get that listed and bring it to storage. It's kind of creepy. Well, we gotta glue it up first. Turn around and there's this. I'll do it as soon as I can. I've got my vinyl project I'm still working on. Now we've got other stuff and we need to glue old crackhead back there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this was Lonnie's favorite find of the day. This was the very last sale we went to. So it was like 9.15, 9.30. Yeah, and it was, un it was under- just sitting there. It was under the carport and it was sitting up high, but it was kind of by itself so i just walked over and uh, hey no, look at this shoved me out the way oh i did no you no did. i didn't shove you but i was coming i will candace was in the aisle and i was trying i spotted it and i'm like i started walking it like, can't i'm like i'm like excuse me i remove or something i don't no, know what i said like, move your i didn't say that <laughs> well, I was instead not... of turning around and going around the table he shoved me out the way. I did not. Stop saying that shoved you because I did not. He didn't, but it, I was like, dang, where is he going? And I was beelining. He was. I'm like, man, he sees something good. And so I reached in, I grabbed it. And right when I grabbed it, there was a lady right behind me. And she goes, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> and I'm like, thank God. If, man, if, some, if that lady would have grabbed this thing, like, seconds before I got to it, oh, my God. I so I saw you walk into it. I'm like okay it's a it's just a box there's no way there's a whole system still sitting there this late in the day 
It is. Sure enough, it is in there. Yeah, and look, I mean, it's not a perfect box. It's pretty close. But it's got like a really nice sheen to it yeah, still. Yeah, still, it's not all dried out. Right. Stuff. It's still shiny. It must have been stored indoors, like in the air conditioning. It still has the Sears price tag. Yeah, look. Look how pricey that was for back in the day. $109.99. Yep. So how much did you pay, Lonnie? I actually got a discount over the original price. We bought it on sale. <laughs> we got it on sale today. Look at that old Sears tag. That's so cool. We got it on sale today for one hundred dollars, and I I did open it up just to look at the interior packing. Man, this box. I've it does have a little thing here. Yeah. But that's not bad. There's a I don't extra wood there. I don't know, I don't know why there's a piece of wood in there, but look at this. How clean. It's it's not all discolored. Yeah, we we do have the light gun. We got the switch box. We got controls. We got power supply. Um, we are missing the game. We don't have Mario Duck Hunt and. Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. I didn't. I'm not trying to run over you. Like we, again today. Oh look, we do have some paperwork, but I think we might be missing some paperwork too. That's a probably, warranty thing. Probably the instruction booklet, huh? Yeah. Unless it's under here. So probably whatever paperwork we're missing. I'll hold this down. Look how clean the system looks pretty clean i would say i would say extremely clean <laughs> we've seen that. some bad look look at that Can the girl go? said I, I said does it work she said it should my parents let me see the back yeah that's a clean one it's it's incredible uh, it is she said it should work because my parents never let us play it look at the controller I mean, yeah no wow. this is nice i just we don't have any of those stupid uh burn burn marks do we i don't see anything maybe we don't because like i said it's everything feels good she too. said her parents hardly let them play it so it's barely been used right there was a game in here uh ninja gaiden 2. that's like a 15 dollar game which and look at that label it's a nice looking label too oh this was uh it's got, still got a tag on it from 1996. So anyway, we paid a hundred dollars for this. I think uh, I don't know exactly what we're gonna get for it, but I think if we add some, add whatever paperwork it's missing, and add the game it's supposed to come with, Mario and Duck Hunt. We'll buy that, and I think we'll have we'll definitely have well over two hundred dollars here. Mm, that's nice. Some collectors will snatch this. Oh, one. it's it's beautiful condition. It really is. And I'll do a video, of course, showing it. And uh, yeah, yeah, I was pretty hyped about this one. This was fun. It was fun, but you don't ever see, well, I never see stuff like this in the, watch out, watch that door when you put it in. I never see stuff like this in the wild anymore, ever. I never saw anything like this exactly in the wild. The only thing that came close one time, this is probably, I think, four or five years ago. Man, look, the, the styrofoam's even in good I know. shape. I know, that. it's perfect. It's great. <laughs> I love it. Just, we'll probably spend 20, you know, 20 to 30 bucks on some stuff to add to it, and maybe we can get it up to 250. Who knows? Yeah. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, the only other thing I found similar to this before is about five years ago, Candace and I were, went to a garage sale. We looked around for about five minutes, and we did not find a single thing at the garage sale. So we're, we're walking out. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. We're walking out and they have a garbage pile where they put a bunch of boxes and trash, probably where they were cleaning out, getting ready for the garage sale. And in their trash pile out by the road, there was one of these boxes with all the. Just the box. Yeah. It, well, it had the interior packing. Right. No, no system or anything. Yeah, watch some flaps. I am trying to get it. Oh, yeah. It's catching on the flap when you. But uh, yeah, so we didn't buy anything at that garage sale, but then I, I picked the box up, I held it up, I said, is this free? Or do you want something for it? And you can have it. So then we left and then I sold it that night for like, I don't know, the, you gotta remember, video game collecting was different back then. It wasn't quite as crazy as it got like six months ago or so. But uh, yeah, I think I, I wanna say I got like 50, 60 bucks for that box. Yep. But yeah, look at it, it's a thing of beauty. It is nice looking. Mm -hmm. Like I could see that in somebody's game room. That's pretty oh, yeah. cool. Yep, that's cool. The graphics just like, boom, they pop. I love it. I'm gonna strap in because we got a pretty good bit more stuff to show y'all. <laughs> we 
we won't be as long-winded as we were on that as i was royal we i was on that first one uh, i did actually look this up before these are uh they're replacements liners. yeah they're replacement liners yeah for um thermoses i found a sold for one of these for 18 dollars. i think it was 18.88 plus shipping or something like that uh so we have two of them yep. and paid two dollars a whack for those all right <laughs> this uh, is for my campaign what's your what are you running for Mrs. Shed Flips. Oh wait, I already. Well, who's that. the competition? You, <laughs> who are you gonna run against? That long list, that long line of ladies waiting right outside the shed. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I already have that title. <laughs> this is pretty straightforward, I guess. Yeah. So they had the this this badgement thing. It's got all these badgematic. <laughs> badge badgement. Man, I used to see these advertised all the time in like uh, comic books and uh, magazines and stuff. So they had two kits. Oh, there's a tool in here also. Yeah, there's a tool in here also. Okay. Two of the man, maybe we hey, maybe we should make a shed flips button. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like it. Or we can make some that say 11:50 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh look! Oh look! Jesus is the King of Kings. LSU is the team of teams. Hmm. Okay. Here's your instructions. All right. Shed flips buttons on. Yeah, that's an idea. Hmm. Thing like that. So anyway, back to the. Oh, I, oh! I said we weren't going to be long-winded, uh -huh. so let's move it. All right. So we have uh, two of the two of the actual presses. And then you saw you have hundreds of the backs and accessories this and, is like the little plastic disc yeah so. and uh, we paid twenty dollars for all of it and i did look up some comps and I, I think with i think with all the stuff we have here we could probably sell some and then we could do you want to make buttons not really, not really huh <laughs> yeah we'll probably just sell it all <laughs> we paid 20 bucks for oh, all God. of that stuff hat this is for the um, LSU firefighter school. The training institute here at LSU, the firefighter school. You may remember we picked one up, but about a month ago, and we found another one today. Yeah, you know what's funny? You want to tell them what you did with the other one? <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and tell them? Okay. We don't. So um, I was on Facebook, and uh, someone shared um, a story about this little boy, and uh, he's fairly local to us. He's like probably about 30, 45 minutes away. In another town and um he is was he what did i say was he autistic i'm not sure anyway he um he's a he's like obsessed with firefighting so they were asking all the um anybody that has t-shirts from any of the local fire stations or whatnot to send it to him for his birthday um because they want to get a collection going and then when he out, outgrows them or whatever they're gonna make a quilt out of it for him so we had one of these hats. So I messaged the dad. I said, does he already have one of these? He said, no. I said, okay, I'm dropping it in the mail um, for him. Yeah, so we sent, uh, I think we got that one at the same place we got this one, huh? Our guy, our storage guy that sells to us. I think so, yeah. I think we did. Yeah. So, so we sent him one of these. And then now we're gonna sell. We got another one. Picked up another one today. So we're gonna sell one for ourselves now. What did you say, like a buck for it? Uh, we got. We bought that. And let me grab the other thing we got. All right. Yeah. Our guy sold us. Uh, he's our storage guy, I guess. Not he's, our guy. Yeah. Yeah. He's not our guy. He sold us uh, this hat and this Levi's jean jacket. Looks like fairly small. Is this a it kids? Is, yeah. Is it kids uh, or a late or a a ladies? It's a ladies. Yeah. It's a ladies medium um we paid five dollars for the two yeah and this the, is like super clean the jacket is like really nice yeah it's in good condition we've always done pretty decent with jean jackets it's a good time of year to list them too yeah perfect yep. all right these are kind of quirky yeah these, never seen them before these are combor combors. converse <laughs> converse um and they're like rubber boots like it's all in one molded as you can see so all we have to do to, for these is just wipe like hose them hose down, them down. <laughs> <laughs> seriously we might we might just take the laces out and hose them what did we pay for that paid five well the red tag there was five bucks yeah 
I don't know. That came from the same place we bought all the buttons. Yeah. Oh, I spotted those. Yeah, Lonnie's like, look, Born does pretty well sometimes. So we pay three bucks for these. They're in good shape. Some Born clogs. Oh, those are really nice. Yep. Go ahead and take that tape off just in case it doesn't leave any kind of residue or anything. I should do that before I buy stuff. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it was fine. Because sometimes it, leather, it usually won't do it. But if it's like vinyl, it'll pull that vinyl right off sometimes. It does have a little spot there on the heel. Which... Yeah. You know what that's from, from driving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, they really like to uh, put their foot up when they're driving. Huh? Yeah, they make driving shoes, I think, where the sole kind of wraps mm -hmm. up around. Driving moccasins? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Have, I have sole driving moccasins before. All right, let's look at some more stuff. Okie dokie, here's some cool stuff. This is some really, really good stuff, man. We did good. Yeah, so the um, same sale where we bought the Nintendo, um, we bought this Carhartt coat jacket. Um, it's got like a little surface dust and stuff on it, but it's really clean. It'll no, clean up. No rips. I mean, I don't even know if it was barely worn. Like, look at the inside is still real clean. Oh, yeah. What size we got here? It's a Carhartt. Double X, good size. Double X, oh, yeah. Yep. Um, we paid two dollars for this. Two dollars. I could not believe. I could. Um, I, I just quickly looked at comps. Um, definitely get a hundred, maybe upwards to 150, 200. So, That's amazing. Yeah. What a home run. You know what? You you might make more on that jacket than I make on that Nintendo. I know. I mean, yours is definitely cooler. Oh yeah. This was probably a better score. Oh yeah. Cool so, factor matters too. There must be something just I to like. have fun. All right, these were um an interesting buy. The old silk thread ornaments they're all still sealed in the package we paid a buck 50 for each package and we have six that was nine dollars yeah. look at it look at them all look at that just look at that look at it would you just look at it yeah oh this one has been opened uh look they started their little design oh great i don't know if you remember these they they had the little pins and you would stick oh I, them. I did that when i was a kid yeah she's like these those are my mom's she, we've got a big box of the pins somewhere I said, are they sealed? She said, no. Said, the, this is sealed. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably just going to lot all these up. Candace looked them up, and you you saw, like, lots of, like, 24 of them that were going for, like, $15. Yeah, or yeah. So it's not huge. That's it's not, not a huge like score. not, huge money, but um, I just, I, it's the cool factor for me because I love vintage Christmas stuff. I was the one that was kind of, like, mm -hmm. I walked over there first. I said, hey, Candace, what do you think about this? Hey, Candace. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, hey. Get out of my way. I see something. No, I did not. <laughs> I didn't shove her. I, you know what I picture whenever you, you talk, that you say that I did that? I picture, do y'all remember, if y'all if watch Seinfeld, do you remember the scene where George Costanza, there's a fire at the birthday party? And <laughs> I think I smell some smoke back here. <laughs> we'll put that little clip right here yeah, just in case for all the kids all those all those teenagers that watch the channel no they don't trust me i'll look at the demographics yeah. all right this is a um when a when a i can't see winnipeg on the bifocals on <laughs> Hey, can't, where, where, let me i gotta put my eyes on let me put candace actually says that's how when i knew, realized candace was old is like a couple weeks ago she said oh wait let me put my eyes on i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> you know? it's probably from hanging out with your mom <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we paid i think a buck yeah one yeah. dollar look look at this they put like all the information, information on oh wait, we couldn't switch the tags i thought it was cool it's probably a probably a giveaway at a game i don't know how it ended up in southern louisiana yeah from winnipeg but there it is same sale they've got the information there for us look at that i mean they really did their work on this yep. huh i thought this was cool it's nice little compact it's yes. got like a carrying little handle and even the inside is really nice i know that's um, a nice material look, i'm a sucker for a back little rule book here for you I, i'm a look, sucker that for kind of ages it for you a little bit yeah it's definitely seven look look how flurry it is i, <laughs> I just want to rub it <laughs> well you have to touch it right like once you see it it looks like it oh man no, there's one under there oh good okay good because yeah 
15 is usually what you find in these uh, little sets. 15 right, of those. All in there. Then you have a big die with the big numbers on it and the two of each of the others. Yep. And we have something Oh, there's, there. that's the manufacturer. Oh, okay. Signal. Signal. All right. So. Cool. That is a nice, that is a cool that's one. That's a great little set for, especially like if we, if we played, I would probably keep it for the camper. I'll, yeah. We, this is a good, good size. Take that tape off. Just to, uh, especially, <sighs> don't mess up the velour, man. It's got like a, like yeah. a chevron pattern going on. Uh, yeah, that? it's got the uh, Charlie Brown going on there. <laughs> Okay, so this next thing, Candace said, I have to own it. So, she wants me to own this success, I will. <laughs> I trusted him. He told me he looked them up. I looked up uh, one or two of them. So. Okay. But anyways, what I noticed, let me preface this. What I noticed was, Candace, you were buying hair... Hair... Hair sticks. Hair sticks. What are they called? Hot sticks. Hot sticks. Candace is buying these old hot stick things and did really well she does well with them like you usually can pick them up for five dollars or less and they're these things that are like curling yeah, I hear you describe. <laughs> curling <laughs> things that that like they get hot and then you put them in your hair and you can wrap them around whatever way you want <laughs> what oh hair rollers that get hot imagine hair that. rollers that's all i was trying to think of <laughs> these hair things but they're they those are flexible and they're, yeah they, and, they, they bend around and hook into each other and you've made you've made really good money on this so yeah. we were we were at a church sale and i spotted this custom care setter for tighter curls I saw this, and I saw What's the... What's that called? Uh, tape player or something, huh? I know. <laughs> that, that design. I saw this thing, and I was like, I wonder if this is worth anything. So I looked it up, and sure enough, to me, it looks like we can get over $30 for this thing, you know, provided it's working. Is there... I don't know how to open it. Don't... How do you open it? Is it missing oh, something? Oh, uh, okay. Here we go. So, yeah, it's got, like... Oh, my gosh. Is that... Oh, there, there's hairs on it. Ugh. Yeah, it's gross. Look, there's hair all in there. Yeah. This one is um broken, but it did come with these. Broken. Oh, this it's, one. Yeah, it came with... Or maybe that's supposed to be on there for some reason. Why would it? Because it does look different, doesn't it? Oh. I wonder if that's a... I wonder if you could take... If you take this out, if it won't work or something. Maybe it's a, a safety, safety thing. Uh, anyway, and it also came with these extra um, curlers and pins. And... <laughs> Oh, it's got a little yeah. hinge thing. That's that, not a big deal. That's not a big because it's not shut. That's um, was two dollars, and then I thought this little set was neat. This was at the same sale. It's like a little travel set um, for three dollars. But um, set you go. Oh, that one looks yeah. perfect. Has that I one, know. Look at that, that one hadn't been used. Look at that. The graphics are still real crisp. I bet that hadn't been used, Candace. Yeah, look at look. that. Just look at it. Look at that. Would you look at it? Man, it looks like it just came off the shelf. That's what I'm huh? saying. It yeah. looks perfect. I thought that was a neat little set. And yeah. It, it kind of sits in there. Oh, man. Th those photos for that are going to be so cool looking mm -hmm. with that bright yellow. Oh, you do the blue background. Although, that'll look great. I don't know who would only need five curlers for their hair. Like, they, there, don't, they don't have much hair. Are, is there anything on the... What's on the bottom? The, the pins? pins? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that was mm -hmm. a neat little set. Uh, yeah. Three dollars for that. And then this other set also came from that. That sale. was from the church sale, also. It's it's pretty much the same thing as these, but it's just a smaller set, maybe like a travel style set. Um, two dollars. Two dollars for, for that. Then the sale where we bought the Nintendo, we got these also. We're on a curl yeah. buying kick today, and these were a dollar. Um, it's a pretty neat. I've never seen one that opens on each end like that. Kind of different. Yeah. And then that, another little like travel set and now we also have a bunch of strange hairs that we could play with too some dna <laughs> <laughs> maybe i could knit something out of it yeah. i can make a wig oh for gross <laughs> i can make a wig we, for we, Bolo. we specialize in cur and uh what do you call this thing rollers <laughs> we have a big old bag we just put all the hairs into and then that's so gross <laughs> that is that's, so our, gross. that's our hair collection <laughs> that reminds me it. of those hair keepers you remember me telling you about that in like the victorian days what women kept these glass things by their bed and there was like a hole on top and the lid lifted off and when they brush their hair at night they take the hair that came out and put it in there uh -huh. and save that up to use for stuffing for pillows and stuff oh yeah <laughs> now that is green 
Yes, that's recycling there. That is waste not want not. Yep. That's for damn sure. Okay. All right, these um, are. Well, what if you use? What if we just? Yeah, we could just. What if we started buying so many of these that we just like instead of using bubble wrap, <laughs> <laughs> just packed with with hair balls and news old newspapers. Yeah, I can get my little Ziploc bags and stuff them with hair. That lady that that lady that gets mad at me for using bubble wrap says I should use newspaper. She would like that. <laughs> <laughs> Still so gross. All right, these are um little it's called an Alpine Village if you if you ever get them to look them up that's what it's called um Alpine Village. I didn't light, know anything about this. Light set. Basically your Christmas oh. lights go into the back of here and it lights up. Um this is like translucent. Okay. The front I paid two dollars for these. They'll go for probably around twenty. Not like a huge home run, but I always thought these were cool, and I've they never, are cool. I've never actually found any, so I was excited to see them. No, yeah, those are neat. I yep. like that. All right, so actually, I sold a typewriter today, a little while ago. It's going to go out Monday, and look at this. Can't get out of the game. <laughs> keep trying to get out, and they keep sucking me back in. It's got a warranty on it. Yeah, five years. So as long as it was made, not made prior to 2017, it might have some warranty left on it. Mm-hmm. But it was probably made in 1987. So. What did you pay for that? A uh, dollar. I paid one dollar. The the lady, the lady at the this is a the Nintendo sale also. Yeah. And uh, it it is a little dirty, but it looks. Looks like it might be Where the okay. cover was is really clean. Yeah, they must have kept it in the garage yeah. or carport or something. Because yeah, it's definitely a little discolored, a little dirty. But yep. for a dollar, I will I will sell it if it works. That same sale you picked this up. It's got like your humidity, your temperature, and your relative Barometric yeah. pressure. And... Yep. So that was a buck. Yeah. It's that, pretty cool. It Sit is it neat. on your desk and it spins around. You knew I was buying that. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't say anything to him. I waited to see if he would see it, and he found it. <laughs> <laughs> I told the lady, I, said, I, don't I even... knew he was going to like that. Uh, and she was, like, that That was a lady. That sale, everything I would, like, I would grab, I grabbed the curling iron. No, Candace did, I think, maybe. Or no, uh, no, I did. I grabbed that, and I said, who's in charge here? And they pointed to her, and I, she says, I'm the captain. I'm like, all right, captain, how much you want for your typewriter? She goes, a buck. I'm like, all right. You got it. I said, how much for the curling iron, the curling things, Captain? <laughs> it's curling things. How much for the old... She was probably, she was probably like, this guy is buying a typewriter and some <laughs> hair growlers. Exactly what I was looking for. I had typewriter and... and to check off my list. <laughs> and the lady things. <laughs> how much for your lady stuff here? <laughs> she said, a dollar. And so, then, yeah, then he finds a Nintendo. He's like, yeah, maybe she's, I know. Gonna, she's gonna say a dollar. <laughs> I know. This. Look, look. So I grabbed that. I grabbed that Nintendo box later, and we'd already done this dollar, dollar, dollar thing. And I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. Is and this, I, does this belong to the captain? And I'm like, hey, captain. <laughs> I'm like, captain, how much for the Nintendo? And she goes, oh well, that's not mine. I'm like, wah, 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 because that woman would have said, oh, that's you got to pay up for that. That's three. <laughs> so yeah i found the the girl that i bought it from it was actually hers when she was a kid yeah and when she said a hundred dollars i didn't have the heart like i could have probably knocked 20 and i i i'm pretty cold-hearted usually at garage sales i'll admit that i didn't have the heart although on a friday she may have not come down she but i could have tried yeah and, and and just in case there i knew there were other people watching the whole thing going down yeah waiting and, to snatch it up and uh, hey will you take 80 no i really want th i'll pay the hundred and now we got a problem yeah so hell no all right so this was at that church sale too i kind of i did a quick like google lens on it didn't pull anything up it is um disney it's cinderella it's 2003 playmates I don't know a thing about it, but for a dollar, I bought it. You can it. curl her hair. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. It's one of those little styling heads. Right. So, I don't know. I'll find it, but quickly, I couldn't find anything on it. Look at this. This is a bag full of thermometers. <laughs> yeah, and I learned from you guys, I learned that the ones that are colored like that, that is not 
Mercury. Mercury. Y'all told me, y'all taught me yep. that that is actually colored. Is it alcohol? Alcohol. Dyed yeah. alcohol, probably. So they have this bag full of these. I don't even know how many are in here. It's a lot. And um, she had 50 cents each on them. The bag does have a hole right here. Yeah. She had 50 cents each on them. I'm like, somebody would want this is for some kind of well, I mean, crafting or something. Well, no, how often do you find like old thermometers and it's busted out? Like, the, you know, the, the wall ones? <laughs> yeah, but I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. But anyway, um, she wanted... What did she originally say? She originally wanted uh, 15. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, I offered. She said, oh, she said, well, how much you want to pay? And I said, uh, I don't know, five bucks. And she's like, she wanted 10. And I came back with seven. So we ended up I paying. Mean, she goes 10. And there was another like little chintzy thermometer, like a wall thermometer sitting there, like plastic or whatever. She goes, I'll throw that in. And we're like, we don't want that. And I'm like, how about seven? And you keep that. And she's like, all right. <laughs> the end of the story is we paid seven for that. <laughs> yeah, the gr great story, bro. Cool story, bro. All right, this is a this is a GPX CD player. It's just like Sony. Okay. It's made. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like if Sony. It's just like Sony if Sony really sucked. <laughs> it is sealed at least, and you paid. What did you pay? Seventy-five cents or three dollars? Yeah. Oh. That was you know top. what that looks like? That looks like I put that on top. I know. I'm like, but I swear to God, I did not do. I would never do something like that. It must like have that. been left over from another sale. I would never. That was at the church, right? No, that yeah. was a. It was on a carport sale or whatever. But uh, yeah, I paid seventy five cents for that. I did look up comps, and somebody sold one of these for twenty bucks, not too long ago. A GPX. So, yeah, I'll sell it. I guess I'll try to. <laughs> if not, you have something to test out CDs. No, I don't. I will never. If if that doesn't sell, just get donated or something. Yeah. I'll try and sell it though. Well, that's everything. Oh no, it's not. It's not. One more thing. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. This is one of those little um, promo giveaway bags yeah. that they give away games. It's for the uh, New Orleans Zeppers, which no longer are in existence. Right, Lonnie? What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> the New Orleans Zephyrs, which are no longer in existence. Right, That's right. Lonnie? That's right. Actually, the Zephyrs are. They, they they have a name change. They're now they're known as the New Orleans. Wait for it. Baby cakes. <laughs> baby cakes. Because and they're playing the off. Worst name in the history of sports. Right. Teams name. The we know cakes. what it means because the baby cakes is referring to around Mardi Gras you have the the king cakes and then the king cakes they put the baby, baby in the king cake they put the baby in the king cake and those are the baby cakes but it looks like you have your mascot's a freaking baby it is it's a baby in a diaper <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible like I, I see where I, how they got there but it didn't yeah we were talking about the um Texas A&M is a border collie, someone told us. Uh -huh. A few people did in the comments. And I'm like, man, usually um, mascots are somewhat ferocious or whatever. I forgot that we have a baby. <laughs> baby kids. <laughs> Wah! <laughs> hey, we're beating you. Let me win or I'm going to throw a fit. <laughs> we're beating y'all six to nothing. What are you going to do? Wait, what are you going to do, babe? Wah! <laughs> but yeah so anyway the pitcher gives up a home run starts throwing a tantrum we paid a buck for this yes <laughs> that's everything we got today it was uh man we did really good we did um i don't think we stretched on too much no like i said we all the sales were good a lot of stuff to look at and um we were fairly selective but probably probably could have been more selective. that's why we were slow because yeah. i was looking I, I i didn't we were looking at everything that thing of course i, I mean that kind of thing i'm just gonna buy it obviously this? no not that the, this that. oh yeah but anything with gauges or dials <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna buy it that's my that's that's how you beat me <laughs> hey lonnie look at this look at this look at all these gauges and meters and things over there look at that look at that. look at blinking it's lights got, it's got shiny glass on it <laughs> yeah, look i just got look at that hand wow <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah that's everything we found we had a good time and um we're gonna go out again tomorrow and hopefully we have as good of luck as we did today yep and now we're going to it's late in the day
Well, it's late. Yeah, we got it's, back late. It's yeah. like three in the afternoon. Yep. I haven't listened to anything yet. I know. It's three in the afternoon. Have you listened to anything? I've listened to things. You listen to things? Okay. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about having a late lunch. <laughs> that's there not, you go. That's all right. That's all right. I'm 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 just thrilled. This is like the one of the better garage sale days we've had. So, thanks for sharing it with us. And um, yeah, we will see y'all again very soon. Hopefully, with some more lucky scores. I hope. Yep. Thanks for watching. Bye.